At the end of the day, you want something really quick and easy to cook for dinner. But unfortunately for a lot of us, that means a bowl of pasta, a takeaway pizza, a curry, all of which contribute to weight gain. Well, my tiger prawn and cauliflower couscous is high in protein, low in carbs and calories, and is a really filling meal and is delicious at the end of a hard day. Okay, let's start by marinating the prawns. We're going to make the marinade first. Now, most marinades are very heavy on the oil. This one isn't. We're going to start with five garlic cloves, which sounds quite a lot, but remember, we want to add lots of taste and flavour without adding lots of oil and calories. We're going to have one tablespoon um, of olive oil here. Olive oil, really good for you in terms of uh, it being a unsaturated or on a saturated fat, but still, if we're losing weight, you don't want to go glugging it on. Okay, now the, the herb that we're going to marinate the prawns in is dill, and I'm going to chop this quite finely. You could, if you don't like dill, you could use fresh parsley, you could use coriander. Um, I quite like the delicateness of dill. In it goes. Okay, so prawns now. We have got here 400 grams of prawns. Um, seafood is really fantastic weight loss food because it's high in protein, low in fat. So all we need to do for this marinade then is we need to stir it round, get everything coated. And ideally you want to marinate it in the fridge for at least an hour. Now the next stage is to make the couscous to go with the prawns. Now most couscous of course is made from grain, wheat. It's quite a processed grain, um, I mean this is white after all couscous and this means it can send your blood sugar way up and then you come plunging down the other side and you start craving more sugar. What I'm going to use to make couscous is cauliflower. Now I know this doesn't look terribly much like couscous at the moment but we can sort that out quite easily. First I break it up into florets. Cauliflower is a really good vegetable. Um, it's fantastically good for your liver, so it helps with all hormone balance, which also helps with weight loss. And it's one of those foods that you basically can eat as much as you like, and when you're on a diet, often it's the volume of food that you really miss. With this couscous, you can almost have it in an unlimited way, so that's really good for filling you up. So just whiz it now. Now, as you tip it out, just watch for any lumps that you haven't actually managed to process and as you can see it's ground really fine and the idea is that it tricks the eye partly because it looks like couscous but of course it's quite tasty so we're going to add um, half a red onion here you can add more if you really like red onion next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a handful of uh, these are baby plum tomatoes you could use cherry or you could even use full-size tomatoes if you actually cut them down so let's give that a stir. Okay, so that's the kind of sort of big ingredient. Now, I'm going to do a pinch of salt. And remember, when you've made this, you want to taste it to make sure that you're happy with it. This is a bit of black pepper. We're going to do juice of half a lemon. Okay, let's tip that into there. And then we're going to have just a teaspoon, and this is paprika. This is the sweet paprika. There we are. And then lastly, we're gonna do herbs. Now I've got fresh herbs here. I've got fresh mint, kind of as much as you like really. Again, because the cauliflower is quite tasteless, I think you really need to bump up the flavor. Okay, so that's some mint in there. And the next kind of quintessentially Middle Eastern herb, of course, is flat leaf parsley. And I'm just gonna chop it really roughly. Um, because it, again, it adds a bit, bit of texture to it, really. Okay. You can use dried herbs if you can't get hold of fresh ones, but obviously it's going to taste much better with the fresh herbs. So that's the couscous made. Next, we're going to cook the prawns. So you need to heat your cooker, your hob up to quite a high heat because you need to get a really high heat to get the searing on the prawns. This, as you can see, is my very well-loved griddle pan. Now, chefs always say oil the food and not the pan, but my experience with this, these prawns is they stick if you do that, so I am actually going to oil the pan. And I always use a, um, an oil spray, because obviously you use much less amount of oil and you get really good coverage. So, I've taken the prawns out of the fridge now. Okay, so all you're gonna do, if you thread them onto the skewers one by one, then they get placed onto the griddle. You can see they hear that nice sizzle and you just keep going. 
until you've used all the skewers up really. You could probably say there's about two skewers per person. Okay, they're, they're really starting to smoke now. So it means you want to turn them over without burning your fingers. Okay, so here we go. And you can see they're also starting to turn pink, that really pretty shade of pink. It tells you they're cooked. So we just want to wait until they're properly pink on both sides. You do not want to eat raw seafood, definitely. Food poisoning is one way to lose weight, but not a particularly good way. So let's just see if these are cooked now. I think they're pretty much done. So all we've got to do now is just take them off the skewers. So that is my grilled tiger prawns with cauliflower couscous. If you've enjoyed this recipe, there are details about this one as well as 70 other recipes in the book. Why not buy it here?